hello everyone welcome to the channel and today i'm gonna share a very sad situation yes life happens and sometimes we neglect some things based on the way life treats us this is my stove and when i moved into this apartment it wasn't like this but a year after that i got pregnant and things went south and I neglected my oven and my stove and it went bad. I know some of you will come in the comment and say mean things, but just hear me out. So I took out time to take care of myself and the baby that was growing in the tummy. I was admitted at one point at the hospital for bed rest. So because I was, you know, high risk and always having high blood pressure. So I have to you know take care of myself and do less work because i was advised to do so as a matter of fact a nurse once told me i should come live in the hospital because i was always going for my appointment every week i don't get any help i know you might say that's an excuse well so i left my stuff to be this bad and i am not proud of it i used to hide it when i'm doing a video in my kitchen that's why some of my videos I put a pot on the stove all over to cover it. So I was definitely not proud about it. So recently I did a video about my daughter cooking, how I'm helping my daughter to, you know, to learn how to cook. And people on TikTok were like, oh, you should also teach her how to clean the stove. And I was just like, oh, the stove is not dirty. It is just, you know rust you know it worn out i have given up on it so i gave up on my stove because i couldn't clean it anymore but it's not that dirty but the lady said oh not to be disrespectful but you can still clean it and it can you know go away and that gave me hope so i went to my local store this past weekend to get some cleaning you know natural cleaning stuff like vinegar baking soda and hydrogen peroxide and i started scraping and cleaning and scrapping you know it took me a long time i spent over three hours trying to clean re-clean trying to you know after wiping it up i started all over again pouring baking soda to make sure years of rust you know would come out so it was a lot of work and it really paid off so i just want to use this video to encourage you is there anything that you've abandoned is there anything that you've given up hope is there anything that you've given up on that you feel that you can never fix it i mean my stove is one of those things that i gave up on until somebody gave me hope that it can be clean and i started thinking of how to fix it and you know this cleaning you know spoke a lot to me so don't give up on yourself don't give up on any project that god has laid in your heart try as much as you can to make research you know know more about whatever you have in mind to do so that you can you know work on the things that needs to be worked on to make sure that you come out as gold an authority in your field what i'm doing here is just repeating cleaning wiping you know scraping and doing it all over again you know each cleaning tells me how far I'm coming close to getting a brand new stove and I did not give up. So the first day, which was on a weekend, this was the result because I was tired. I spent over three hours cleaning, scraping, trying to remove years of rust on my stove. So just let this encourage you that you know 
sometimes giving up is not an option. I gave up on my stove and I made up my mind to, you know, clean it up because that lady, you know, she was so kind to say, you can clean it up. I mean, it can be fixed. Don't give up. And I have taken the time to clean over and over and over and over again. And I mean, it paid off. Now I am proud of showing my stove or when I'm cooking, I don't hide anything because you know what we, you know, we hide those things that we don't want people to see. I mean, it happens to almost everybody. The things that we, we feel that we are failure in it, we tend to hide them. But the reality is that, you know, to some things we can fix it. To some, we can just accept it. So this was another day since I said, you know, on the first day I was so tired. I stood, you know, by my stove for over three hours. So this is actually a Monday. The first day was on a Saturday. So this is a Monday. I had to use, you know, my knife to keep on scraping. I just don't want it to have any rust on it any longer. So as I'm scraping it, I'm using my hard brush to scrub it thoroughly to see that everything comes out white just like the way I was given. Even though this stove is old because there was a time in my apartment that, you know, the stove, my refrigerator too is old. Everything, there was a time that we were told that it would be changed. But, you know, when it was around my turn, the work stopped. So I'm stuck with the old appliances, but that doesn't mean I should, you know, mismanage it or handle it poorly. So this is like three to four years of rust. Yeah, my daughter now is three years plus. So it's been years of rust and that's why it's taking hours for it to be wiped. So I... You know, the second day I continue cleaning it because I still believe that this stove can come out new, just like we know the day I was given. It might not be exactly the way I was given, but close. So I did clean it, you know, further to make sure that at least it's close to, you know, becoming new. What is not new is an old stove and oven but i'm proud of myself in what i have been able to achieve i'm proud that i didn't give up you know sometimes criticism or feedback helps us to fix the things that we couldn't see i couldn't believe that i can wipe my stove from being very very dirty and disgusting to becoming something that is very new. So my stove top is broken and I'm trying to get the apartment to change it. It has holes in it. So when I wash it, it breaks open. That means it's, you know, rusted and very, very bad. I want to see if the apartment can change it for me. And if I change it, my stove is going to be brand new again. The funny part is that I have never removed this thing before. And look at me now. I'm able to do it. So. While I'm waiting for the new ones to be replaced, I did clean up the old ones and everything is well cleaned and taken care of. This is to tell you that when you put your mind to do something, you can achieve it. This is where it all started. I am so proud of myself. This is a combination of the two. I have been able to transform this stove to something that looks like new and I'm so proud of myself give me a thumbs up if you appreciate my work so what is that thing in your life that you feel you can work on that can make your life better go ahead don't lose hope don't give up on yourself thank you so much for watching